Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am super excited because I finally get to try these two products, the new Geek and Gorgeous Moisturizers. Now, for those of you that have been with the channel some time, you'll know one of my favorite skincare brands are Geek and Gorgeous. I think they do wonderful formulations at like rock bottom prices. And because I'm drugstore to my core, just about everything they produce really appeals to me. However, no brand can be 100% perfect, so I wanted to put these two new moisturizers through their paces to share with you guys whether I think there's a space for them in your skincare routine. Sit back, relax, let's talk the new Geek & Gorgeous moisturizers. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys out there for the love, kindness, and support that you show me day in, day out. Geek & Gorgeous reached out to me and said, did I want to try these out and put them through their paces before they launched? And it's only thanks to the love and support that you guys show me that really makes these opportunities possible. I, of course, was so, so excited to try these. Um, and I've got a lot of mixed thoughts, feelings, and opinions that I want to share in today's video. But I just want to say to you guys, to each and every one of you that takes that moment to like the content and the videos I create, leave a comment and all that great YouTube stuff it means the world to me from the bottom of my heart thank you all so so much now without further ado should we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in so geek and gorgeous are launching with two moisturizers i actually think this is quite exciting i expected one moisturizer i didn't think they'd launch with two and they've done so with two very different skin types in mind which i think is really really nice to see because at the end of the day i think you know consumer choice is a good thing and moisturizers like any step in your skincare routine you need to match the one you reach for to your individual skin type and what you're looking to get out of the product so it's nice that we have two different options and um, the hydration station is priced at eight euros and the happier barrier is priced at 10 euros now i think for convenience i wish they were priced at the same price <laughs> but we can't have everything in life and one thing I think Geek and Gorgeous are really good at is pricing according to their formulation and, you know, the cost of the ingredients that go into it. So obviously the ingredients that comprise of the Happy Barrier cost a little bit more than the other one. And that's reflected in the price. And you know what? I think this is something that more brands should do rather than just, you know, going with the highest price they think they can get away with. Um, Geek and Gorgeous as a brand, I've covered in a separate video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. So check that out if you want to know all the information behind them. But they're cruelty free, which is nice to see. And they're a European Union based brand so if you're watching this from the eu it means you can shop geek and gorgeous without having to worry about any additional vat or custom charges which is just you know a nice thing to know but they now do ship internationally and i've left links to these two products in the description box below if you want to check them out the price point in your own currency and all that good stuff so i put both of these through their paces and in the spirit of positivity let's start with the pros first so the hydration station is designed for people with combination or oily skin types this is really nice to see because I think there's this myth still out there that if, like me, you've got super oily and acne prone skin, you don't need to moisturize. You absolutely do. In fact, it's one of the best things you can do for the skin to minimizing the risk of any breakouts. This is the Happier Barrier Moisturizer, which is designed for drier skin types in mind. People with maybe a bit of impaired barrier function that are looking to boost that, but also hydrate your skin to the gods. With both of these, I think it's really clear on the website who they're aiming it for. And I really like that because often with moisturizers, brands will just say suitable for all skin types. Well, that's pretty useless. <laughs> there are very few products in the world that are actually applicable for all skin types, especially when it comes to moisturizers. So I like the fact that Geek & Gorgeous has said exactly who these will work for. So you can shop with confidence knowing which is going to be right for your skin type. With my skin type, I naturally gravitated towards the hydration station, which has a 5% concentration of glycerin, alongside some other great humectants, calming and soothing ingredients. This, I'd say, is a fairly basic moisturiser, but that is not shade. That is not a bad thing at all, because I think sometimes we overload our moisturisers with too many actives, which can just lead to irritation and sensitivity. This was a really, really effective moisturiser that I felt sank into the skin, didn't make you feel like you were wearing a mask, and was really quite a lightweight finish. But that concentration of glycerin definitely helped, because that'll draw in and retain moisture in itself, plump out the skin, give a little dewiness to the complexion, which I personally really, really enjoyed. The best thing about this is it's fungal acne safe. So if you're somebody that's suffering with fungal acne, which is a very specific type of acne, um, then this would work wonderful for you. And it's nice to have a few more options in that market. But just for generally oily skin to break out prone people, I think this could work really, really well. I'll do a quick swatch so you can see how it applies. It's definitely the more lightweight of the two. And I'd say it's got like a gel cream consistency. It's not as thick as some more occlusive moisturizers you might be used to, but that's definitely a good thing. Because even in winter with my oily skin, I don't want anything that's thick, heavy, and and weighs me down this doesn't and if you see how that finishes on the skin just gorgeous 
fragrance free, cruelty free, which are two big ticks in the box for me. I got a really, really good experience with this. If you've got a drier skin type, you're probably gonna go in with this, which is the Happier Barrier Moisturizer. This has a 7% concentration of squalane and 3% concentration of skin identical lipids. I just wanna applaud that transparency, which is another huge pro for me. You know the percentages, you know exactly what you're putting on the skin, which I, honestly, I think is definitely, definitely a positive. I, I really, really like this, but I think for my skin type, this is only really gonna work in those really cool winter months when my skin is a bit more dryness prone. If you've got a dry skin type, this all year round will be amazing. It's got ceramides, it's got allantonin, it's got those lipids that are gonna boost the barrier function of the skin. And I almost think Geek and Gorgeous are kind of underselling this. It's better as a moisturizer, but I think, you know what, they could call it a barrier repair cream, which it genuinely is, and they definitely get more sales for doing that. I think it's multifunctional. I personally really, really enjoyed this. It's definitely on the thicker side, if you can see. Look at that, and I'll compare and contrast it to the um, Hydration Station, which definitely, definitely is more lightweight. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but here we have the thicker um, barrier one, and then we have the Hydration Station below. Now let me just remove that Hydration one, and then I can work in the barrier so you can see it on the skin. It is a very, very rich cream, but a lot of people love that in a moisturizer, particularly if you've got a dryness-prone skin type. Again, Fragrance freeze, there's not gonna be a whole lot of things that are gonna risk irritation in these, which is really, really nice to see. And if you see how that finishes on the skin, not greasy, not shiny. We don't have that. We want dewy. We don't want greasy. And you definitely get that with both of these. Grease free, but definitely gives you that little bit of a glow up and that little plumpness to the skin. Another great thing for me is the packaging. So they come with a really tight cap, so it's not going to leak if you want to travel with it, which I know, look, I'm coming into my late 30s and things like this really matter to me. I know very few people care as much about that as I do about packaging, but it's nice to see that even after consistent use, the lettering isn't all peeling off, making it look you know, less than appealing. And also, so it's got a really tight screw on that, which I think is really important if you want to travel with these products. And definitely thought has gone into them. I can say that the formulations in these are something that's different to what is available on the wider market, particularly when you consider that price point. You know, particularly this barrier cream, you will be paying upwards of like 40 or $50 for something that's formulated as well as this by some other brands. So it's really nice that I think Geek and Gorgeous have kept true to their drugstore and affordable routes. And these two products definitely will both be my skincare routine. Now that might surprise a lot of people because this one clearly isn't designed for my skin type but even us oily skin folk out there have our dry moments and it's nice to have something like this that's affordable but on hand in case you just need something to boost that barrier function of the skin and maybe just give you that extra hydration i also love this as a hand cream and when you think of the price point like 10 euros that's you know not too bougie for a hand cream as well so i tend to use this on the hands which are drier and then this on my face so if i was going to call out the cons when it comes to these products the size i go through a lot of moisturizer i think it's feels like like a bit of a treat step at the end of your skincare routine. I like to be fairly lavish. And um, you get 50 mils in both of these. Now, if you were to look at the price point, take for example that hydration station, which is eight euros for 50 mil of product. If you were to get like a hundred mil of product, which is a fairly standard moisturizer size, that would be 16 euros, which I still think is a good price point for such a quality formulation. But you don't get a whole lot of product, which is the one thing that I find just a tiny bit disappointing because I do get through these quite quickly. So I'll be buying time and time again. But the price point, I don't mind that and I definitely think you know with Geek and Gorgeous you get free shipping over a certain spend limit so you can put a good few on order to take advantage of that free shipping and then just keep them until you're ready to use them but I'd say that for me is the one drawback that you've got. Other than that, I actually think they've created some standout products. I was prepared to adore these, if I'm going to be honest, because everything Geek & Gorgeous do, I think they do so, so well. It's been about 18 months since we've last had a launch from Geek & Gorgeous, and that's been a bit frustrating for those of you that love the brand, because I think we've been thinking, when's the next product out? Come on, come on. But honestly, they've delivered with this. Two products, which I think is great, so you can choose the one for your individual skin type, and the formulations clearly have taken time to come together. So this isn't just one of those cash grab style products that we've seen an awful lot of now. This is a lot of thought feeling gone behind this brand and again I think they should be applauded for delivering such quality formulations at that really affordable price point. This video isn't sponsored, no coin has exchanged hands. I was kind enough to receive these in PR before they launched which I'm very very thankful for but I'm going to continue to buy these with my own hard earned coin because I think these are really good investments. My top tip would be choose the one that matches your individual skin type and the level of hydration you need because I think that's going to be the key to success with these but I definitely think for the price point they're worth trying out for your own skincare routine. Sound off in the comment section below if you've given these a try yet and let me know your outcomes and wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care, bye!